second down. Now it's Claret. No hole as Hobson wraps Claret up at the 42 yard line, and the uh, freshman takes a loss on that play. Third down. Jackson will go with Jenkins. He has manned him up all day. Number three defensively, tracking number 12 offensively. Here's your third down. Tight now. end and fullback outside wide here. With an empty backfield, there's five receivers for Krenzel. Steps away from trouble. Now he'll run, dive to the close to that marker. He probably is just right at the marker. Ohio State lucky to get that play off. Krenzel looked up and saw the shot, the clock going down, and quickly moved his foot to get the silent snap and then dove for the marker on the far side. It's short, doesn't it? You can tell by the body language of Ohio State's bench that it was short. With Krenzel, you would think they just let him go right behind the left guard, Doss is out on the field yelling encouragement to the offense. Remember against Purdue, third down and short twice. They got stopped in the backfield, forcing them to try that fourth down pass play that won it. But they did not have Maurice Claret. Less than uh, you a wonder yard. if they will I risk yes. a handoff. I there think they should quarterback sneak. Absolutely, I would quarterback sneak. You can see how short this is. Goal line look here for the Wolverines. Claret there. Prenzo behind the left side. Got the first down. Sets it up and he come back very smartly and just go through. Florent decoys from the tailback position and he pushes through for the first down. Now that fresh, you can almost feel it. I, I don't. I don't think the players are anywhere near as nervous as the Ohio State fans right now. Ball at the Wolverine 32. Takes the handoff. Krenzel's going to throw it first down. Got a man wide open. It's Claret. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. Maurice Claret, who is an outstanding pass receiver. That is for 25 yards during the spring. Jim Trussell told us that Michael Doss could not defend him coming out of the backfield. That's how good he is. Out and up, and watch Krenzel. He doesn't lead him. He's got him wide open, so he throws the ball right at him. And Claret turns around and catches it with two hands right there looking at the ball. Perfect by the quarterback. Great call by Jim Tressel on first down. A 26-yard gain. Buckeyes show the power eye. Michigan digs in for a play defensively. Claret bounces. Stopped at about the four-yard line. An injured Michigan player is down. I think he was perhaps just winded. Hoyer slow to get up. Norman Hoyer, the junior. He's up now, bending over a little bit. Take a look at uh, the two running backs. Claret now with 117 yards, <laughs> averaging almost seven yards a pop. He has scored the games only touchdown you can see that Perry although he has run well has been limited to only 2.7 yards a carry and uh, the Buckeyes with Claret over on the sidelines been he taken out be in he, there, wanted he? In, <laughs> in he wanted to be in there now in this situation before against Illinois they ran the stretch play to Maurice Hall is Hall in the game or is it Lydell Ross it is Maurice Hall Second down at the Wolverine four. 
Powers to the left side of the formation, but now the H back. Yes, they'll turn it. Hard shot back around. And they'll go to the weak side. Easy. They'll walk in. Touchdown. They ran away from the strength of the formation that time. And Maurice Hall strolls into the end zone. Now we know why Claret wasn't in there. This play has been practiced and circled for Maurice Hall. How about those two calls by Jim Tressel? The first down pass to Claret and the option play. Everybody to one side, option play to the other. Michigan never, never saw this one on film. Two great calls. So Jim Tressel orchestrating the offense. Using different personnel, Nugent adds the extra point. He scored the winner a week ago in overtime. Tressa leads Michigan 14 9. Timeout. Eight plays, 57 yards. Remember what we said at the start of the drive. The best starting field position of the day for Ohio State. We also said the wind is at their back. They have a chance if they can force Michigan to punt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, these Ohio State Buckeyes are five minutes from Arizona. Five minutes to a chance to play for a national championship. Perhaps their first since 68. But remember, the Wolverines got one in 97, and they've still got a lot of fire left in their belly. And it'll be their turn now with Nugent to kick it off. Let's go back to the TD, Gary. Overloaded on this side by Ohio State, and watch Cato June. He sees it, starts to smell, and cheats to the other side. Oops! Option the other way. Cato June is out of position. He's the last guy that had a chance to make the play. A brilliant call for that touchdown. A field goal will not help Michigan. Wolverines must dig in now and score their first touchdown of the day. There's their possessions. They've been forced to punt four times. The yards, they haven't even gained 30 yards in the series against the Buckeye defense. Number 16, John Navarre, definitely under the gun right now. Short drop. Incomplete as his receiver went down. Bellamy coming off the line, and it is second and 10, and things are starting to turn now in Ohio State's direction. Yeah, how about that? No punts in the first half and four straight punts in the second half for this Michigan team. That time Bellamy got off the jam from Gamble and lost his footing on a play that should have been easy pitch and catch. The matchup is on the other side of the field ball. Edwards and Fox, that's where you want to go, down here. Here comes Perry. They don't give up on the run, but it'll be third down and long. Complete and Fox was riding the receiver and there's a penalty flag thrown by the linesman as Fox was all over the intended receiver. Came right over his back. Ohio State went, went with about a three and a half man rush. Three up front and Will Smith came in real late and that's just too much time for Navarre. There's the matchup, Bellamy, they're gonna throw at Fox when they want to, Fox must make a play. Pretty good position this time. The ball slightly underthrown, and he goes through the back. Here he is down here. The ball comes right in that area. Look at this. Three-man rush. Ball is thrown in the dig. And, man, that was very, very close. I actually thought Fox made a pretty good play on that one, but his fate, he came through with his shoulders and hit Bellamy on an underthrown ball. Ball is brought out to the 38-yard line. First down after the 15-yard penalty. Navarre to throw on first down, incomplete. Edwards can't hang on. 
People at Michigan have felt that Edwards on the easy throws takes his eye off fit and starts to run. That play, he could have at least caught the ball and made it a two or three yard K, maybe four yard play. He ended up trying to run too quickly and he drops the ball. Well, the young man who is uh, under fire again, number 37. There is Fox on the corner. Next year, you can expect him to be switched to safety. He'll move into the draw spot in all likelihood. Navarre goes back again, fires, and receiver was down on the catch. Did not get up and uh, go as his knees were on the ground. Bellamy at the 44-yard line, and it'll be third down coming up. Now Gamble, who has been the two-way man, switching over to the field or wide side of the formation. 64 snaps. He's been in on every defensive play. Return punts. Now facing the third down. Short drop, firing, deflection, incomplete. It's fourth down. Hold it. There's a penalty flag. It's going to be a tip ball, though, Brandon. They're going to pick the flag up. The ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage, and they will pick it up. That's exactly what they're signaling. Russell first, Lafatina next. And 105 other thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> There's no foul in the play. The forward pass was tipped by a defensive lineman. No foul. Slant play, ball up front is tipped, Jazz. Very clearly the ball is tipped, and that's exactly when a ball, when Dustin Fox grabs hold of the receiver, clearly after the tip pass. Fourth down for Michigan. Cars team to go for it. Navarre looking to the sideline for the signal. Fourth down against the Bucks coming up. Wolverines need four. They've got it. Out of bounds at the 44-yard line. John DeVar keeps the drive alive with another third down strike. This one of 12 yards. What a throw. Come on. You, this is unbelievable. John DeVar criticized so much in his career. Goes up against Gamble. Perfect throw. Outside shoulder on fourth and four. Navar to put it up on first down. Goes down to Bellamy high, and it'll be second down. So Bellamy, who made that catch to keep this drive alive, and it is second down, and we were just talking about how much they've been attacking Fox, and that time they went after Gamble and uh, picked up the first down. Fourth the down. one thing that coaches tell you about defensive backs, I know it's a cliche, but uh, they've used it here at Columbus. We'll pass it along. If you play the corner, you must have a very short memory. and. Uh, Mr. Fox did just that. They took him out of the Illinois game, sent him back. He's played hard and well here today. Now it is second down and 10. Wolverines with three wide receivers. They run the draw play. Askew across the 40 to the 38-yard line. 14-9, but the Wolverines are alive. Edwards is the motion receiver. Navarre getting great time, hits Edwards again. And he's wrestled down at the 30-yard line with 2.29 to go. Matt Wilhelm brings him down. It's Ohio State defense, you called it the rubber band defense all day. That's what it's been. This drive is starting to feel a lot like that Illinois drive at the end of the game when they marched it down there, took it into overtime. Now, here's this Ohio State defense facing a precision passing Michigan team that has four downs. Ask you the running back. Navarre getting great time. Fumble! Ball's picked up finally by the Buckeyes. Finally, the ball was rolling around. La Fatina's there. First down. Buckeyes. The Buckeyes on the game's first turnover. Recover the Navarre fumble. And coming out of there with the football is Will Smith. But see, Grant was in there. They were all in the middle of that pile. We'll take a second look at it. Ohio State.
they lined up funny. I don't think they even had a, a cornerback covering a wide receiver, but they got away with it. Michael Dawes was supposed to go one way. Navarre comes up in the pocket. Ball gets popped loose inside. I don't know if it was David Thompson that knocked it loose or Darian Scott. Darian Scott knocked Darian it Scott. free. Yes. And Will Smith, watch now from the left side. Darian Scott will flash with the left hand, pumps it out. Now the ball is still free. No one yet has it. And finally, Will Smith has it. And now the Buckeyes are two minutes from Arizona. Michigan only has one timeout left. They took one on fourth down and they used one earlier in the game. On that play though, you can see that Ohio State is confused. Here's Doss going out for a wide receiver. They don't really uh, fell a line very smartly. Doss runs out there as a veteran guy and inside comes Darian Scott because a misalignment by Ohio State works out to their benefit. Amazing. First turnover of the football game. Ohio State's defense must prepare themselves. The game is not over. They could have to go back out of the field one more time. Jim Tressel's telling his guys, no penalties, ball security. The worst thing we can do now is turn the ball over or get a big penalty. If we have to punt, we're at least going to be able to bleed the clock. The other thing he's telling Brent is don't run out of bounds. Here comes Claret. Stopped after a yard or two. Lazarus, who's played well as a defensive tackle. That's all their timeouts. So Ohio State will be able to run a play and take another about 40 seconds off of the clock here when they have to play if they have to punt the ball. So Maurice Claret with 117 yards today, 19 carries. And so, so he turned out to be the wild card, huh? He had to come through in this football game. He was itching to go last week, but Tressel rolled the dice and waited for today against Michigan, and it paid off so far. They got those TV sets up to 80% today. <laughs> There have been so many frustrating moments for Ohio State football teams in the hands of Michigan. You can, the city was uh, was so uneasy and anxious and nervous. And the coaches and the players really weren't when we came in here. It has been the fans, and uh, they're not going to breathe easy until the next two minutes run off the clock. Claret ducking and diving, but not many, and that's going to bring up a fourth down as Scott McClinic. Stops in there, steps in there, and uh, Michigan certainly not giving up. Well, today's Chevrolet players of the game. How about Michael Doss? How about the game he played today for Ohio State? Braylon Edwards, the wide receiver, nine catches, 96 yards, and uh, he looks like he's going to have a, a great career up at Ann Arbor, but it was Michael Doss, Donnie Nicky. Doss today with 13 tackles, and almost, almost jarred the ball loose for a fumble a short time ago. They ruled it an incomplete pass. He's just a terrific leader there. You saw Nicky back there, number 25. You, you cannot say enough about these two leaders down the middle for Ohio State. So Michigan will get the ball back with about a minute to go in the game. Both teams have used all of their timeouts. So even if Ohio State, as they burn one here to run the clock all the way, needed in the last minute to, burn, to take some time, they could not even rest with the timeout. Let's go down below the chat. One of the changes between this Ohio State squad and coaching staff and the one that preceded them was the embracing of this Ohio State-Michigan rivalry. As soon as Jim Tressel arrived here, he didn't treat it like any other game. He said this is the most important game each and every year. And he has done that 
He shut down access to the players this week, not because he was concerned, but because that's what goes with the rivalry, Brent, as you know. When we walked into the lockers, it was talking, it was up on the walls everywhere. Give 110%, leave it all out on the field. Jim Tressel has embraced the history of this 99-year rivalry and has used it to motivate his players. You know, uh, Gary, I was looking at uh, Jack down there, and I happened to know on good authority that that hat is, is given to him by a Montana Wrangler by the name <laughs> of Will Smith. Ohio State has only had one punt partially blocked all year, and that was against Minnesota. Fourth down, and here comes the punt. Michigan coming after it, but Groom slams it out of there. Curry on one hop. Gamble can't bring him down. Reynolds is right there, and he's out of bounds at about the 20-yard line. So it's about 80 yards, 58 seconds coming up here for the Wolverines. And the way they can stop the clock, of course, in the NCAA football is with the first down. It's a long, long way to the end zone for Michigan. And those long-suffering Ohio fans who've lived with the drive from John Elway for the Cleveland Browns and the fumble and Michael Jordan's shot in basketball and since 1968 here in football are not resting and relaxing. There's still 58 seconds to go in this game. Navarre. Incomplete. Well, ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. The keyword is ABC Sports. Get all the scores if you check in with ESPN.com. You know, in the old days, we used to say that none of the networks gave us enough scores. Now, if you got a computer, never miss a score. Here comes Navarre, down, firing, incomplete. In and out of Edwards' hands. Wilhelm had dropped back in that zone coverage to help out the DBs that time. Ohio State, ten. in both plays here, are playing the same prevent coverage. Michael Doss is sitting in the middle of the zone, about 18 or 20 yards deep. Everyone's forcing the ball to the inside. There's number two. He's going to read the quarterback's eyes and stay right on the inside for all the crossing routes. He's the wild card. The clock cannot move fast enough for Jim Trussell and the Buckeyes. Incomplete. And Will Allen, the nickel man, number 26, comes up now in a 42 six and one play left for Michigan to keep this going. Fourth down and 10. Perfect time for the prevent defense. You've got your best player in the middle reading the quarterback's eyes and everybody forcing their man towards number two. The Big Ten Conference is 42 seconds away from putting its first team ever in a BCS championship game. We are five years into that deal, and this would be the first appearance for the Big Ten. Navarre fires, and Wilhelm rides the receiver down, but they'll stop the clock with 35 seconds. And again, John Navarre, that time on fourth down, picking it up. They are 12 of 21, Michigan is on third down here today, and now they pick up a first down on a fourth down. Navarre has been getting tremendous protection, too, against this three-man rush. On the move, fires back across the green, and Doss had coverage that time. No chance for a completion. That's the defense. Force them inside. You can see that this Ohio State defense is going to force everybody. There's a corner. There's a cornerback. They're both faced in. They're saying, you're not getting outside me. We're going to force you into number two. He's the robber inside, and he's the guy that makes the play and really inter interferes on the play on that one. Second down and 10. Navarre steps up, fires, complete. Again, this time to Bellamy to the 46, still alive. 20 seconds left after the 15-yard gain. And to Jim Trussell, it must seem like time is standing still as the clock is stopped by uh, spiking the ball. But Trussell must be over there saying, How, where, where's the Michigan <laughs> State timer when I need it? Yeah, right. <laughs> um, What's going to happen now is Michigan, no matter what, at the end of the game, is going to be able to throw a long one into the end zone for the last play of the game. 
So this will come down unless they turn the ball over to one long pass into the end zone. <laughs> Wolverines at the uh, 45, Navarre. And that time, Campbell broke it up, but he interfered. So it'll be 15 more yards, and the Wolverines are edging closer and closer. Ohio State be needs to be patient. Michigan is being patient with this drive. Ohio State is not. Campbell, watch this. This is an easy play, but he puts his arm in the back of the receiver. An easy call, pass interference. Doss got away with one early, but you're not going to get away with two. 14 seconds to go. Ball at the Buckeye, 41 yard line. <laughs> Face to half. Helping keep Lloyd off the field. The protective pocket fires, diving catch. They're inside the 25-yard line with another Bellamy reception. And now nine seconds on the clock after that 18-yard gain. And here come the Wolverines again. They'll spike it. Which they do, Gary. Seven seconds left on the clock. And for Ohio State, their fans, seven very anxious seconds, there, folks. And for Michigan, Nothing, nothing would make them any happier than to deliver the dagger with seven seconds to go. And you can see Ohio State cannot take a timeout. They would like to reorganize here, but they used their timeout on that last punt. They're sucking wind right now, and they just have to go with it. Michigan must throw at least for a first down or the end zone. Navarre. Hit on the release, does get it, it's out of the end zone. He was hit by Kenny Peterson. Kenny Peterson has played a tremendous game. One second, one second left on the clock. Remember, it is not a home timekeeper anymore. That was a change this year. It's an independent play. They are running the clock. The ball sails out, and the independent Operator says one more snap. So close and yet so far. The ball will be in Navarre's hands one last time. Fires in zone, intercepted. Let's party, Columbus. Their 29th Big Ten Championship, and it is huge as Maurice Claret, Jim Trussell, and the Buckeyes were ahead to Arizona where they'll play for all the Tostitos in the Fiesta Bowl on January 3rd. For the first time in history, 13-0, the Buckeyes. That's the prevent defense to the limits right there, huh? <laughs> oh, my. And that is the epitome of bend and don't break. Let's go, Jack Roo. Coach. OK, Jack. OK. You're headed to the national championship. Congratulations. Well, I don't know if that's for sure, but I'm sure proud that Ohio State won in the big rivalry. And I tell you what, we're so proud of our kids. They play like crazy. That's the Ohio State-Michigan game, 60 minutes. But coach, 13 games ago, you gritted for the long haul. All of the planning that you and your staff made comes to its fruition today. I tell you what, it's awful special, and we got great kids, we got great coaches. How about these fans? And what about the play of Maurice Claret? I tell you, he's a tough kid, and we talked early in the week. He's going to play, there's no doubt. Well, congratulations to you and the team. I know you've got to go pay tribute to the band That's right. and the alumni now. Thanks, Jack. A terrific coaching job. But Michigan, Michigan showed absolutely no quit in this football game. They brought it down right down to the final tick of the clock, Gary. And the young defensive back who kept the man in front of him 
got the interception, no interference, played it cleanly, and then went down and said, we're the winners. So hail to the uh, Buckeyes.